All right, this is not exactly pulse pounding excitement, so I did hook up the first two poles here. Uh, so uh, no big deal. One's a red, one's black. One's a red, one's black on the uh, on the VMAX battery. This this is I think it's 155 amp hours, so they're heavy as oh get out. All right, now put this one here. It's not plugged in, so. I got no real danger of damaging it till I do plug it in. Yep. On the black side. By the way, ignore the devastation around here that is my garage. I'm beginning to get ready to move and I am throwing stuff around and getting ready to throw stuff out. Alright. Here we go. Now, where is the plug? There it is. Okay. Oh, these things are heavy. And let's plug this baby in. Now we've got action. This is also, it didn't come with the uh, the onboard battery charger, but it is the same company. Uh, so it'll allow me to plug, to drill through my van and put the plug on the outside. So I can hook up to a standard uh, extension cord. And it's not an RV hookup. We know that I'll get one of those eventually. But it'll be enough to uh, either uh, work as an auxiliary uh, power source, uh, you know, or uh, could also uh, potentially act as a uh, as what it was meant to be a uh, a connection for this charger and let it charge the batteries even when I am non-solar. So it's it's basically a thing. So. Now I'm beginning to do the things that make a van livable, get the power going. I've got my hole saw bits here. In fact, I've got two that will actually work with this, uh, this connector. So I'll probably do it from the inside out. Uh, that way I won't make as much noise as going from the outside in. So just got to keep it moving.